So in the last video, we looked at um, downloading a distribution of Anaconda or Python and uh, setting up our first Jupyter Notebook environment. And now we want to look at uh, navigating that document. So to create a new notebook, we can click here New Python 3, and that will create for us this Jupyter Notebook. So we've got the cell here sort of inviting us to start creating things. And we might want to create a document that has a, a nice uh, big title uh, up front. And so if we type here, um, let's say um, my, or, or rather let's do the traditional thing, hello world, right? Hello world. And uh, we might want to write our name in here. And we, we can think about running this block. So let's try and run that. And you see, we get an error message because of course, by default in an environment like this, uh, the program is going to assume this is a code block. And clearly this is not code, um, this is text. So to convert this um, to, uh, to tell the compiler that this is not a code block, this is not a simulation, this, these are not calculations that we wanted to uh, try to perform. Uh, we will convert the cell uh, from a code block into what's called a markdown cell. And so we can do that here through the menu and uh, we can say cell type is markdown. And now when we run this, um, that's going to just uh, keep text there. It's, it's going to show as text. It will render this text on the screen. Now I've been poking around on these menus out here, but um, you don't want to do that. You, you would rather work with the shortcuts and there are many shortcuts that make life much easier to navigate your way around in a Jupyter Notebook. And um, one of the uh, shortcuts is if you want to run uh, or if uh, let's say we wanted to look at the code behind the cell, then we, we can use the arrow keys to, uh, to give different cells the focus. And so we've got the focus, you can see um, this uh, kind of blue outline or um, yeah, the cell focus has shifted here to this one now. Um, down here is a different cell. So we can just use the arrow keys to navigate. And then if you just hit enter, then that's going to expose the underlying code for that code block. And we can, um, we can go ahead and click run if we want to run it. But uh, more conveniently, uh, we can hit instead control enter. So I'm holding down control, striking enter, and then that's run that code block. Uh, let's write a bit of code here. So um, enter, uh, so you, you see when uh, the color here is a blue, then uh, that's not in edit mode. Uh, this is now just showing us, uh, it's just giving focus without making it possible to edit this code. So to edit the code, we hit enter. So now we've got the prompt and then um, let's uh, write some code here. So, um, okay. So it's pretty clear what this does. And as I say, control enter to run that code block and you see the result there. Right now, I would like to do uh, a bit of formatting up here and uh, I want my hello world to be, uh, to look really like a title. And the shorthand to do this in a Jupyter notebook is to use um, a hash here. And uh, if I use a series of hashes, then that will progressively uh, reduce the size of my text. So if I uh, use a, another, uh, I need to provide a space there. there. There must be a space between the hash and the text. Um, so those are of the same size, but if I use another hash, then you see it's getting smaller and smaller. So if I run that now, uh, you can see it's, it's formatted a little differently. So that's how uh, you can edit uh, a cell. And another shortcut, um, we had gone and painfully converted the cell to a markdown cell. So a, a cell that shows text, a markdown cell. Um, if, uh, we want to con if we want to create a markdown cell, um, the shorthand to do that 
is to go to command mode. So remember we said when it's outlined in green like this, we are in the, uh, the code editing mode. Um, when it's outlined in blue, then we are in the, uh, in the command mode. So if we hit the escape key, um, then we are in the command mode. And in command mode, if we hit M, then that's been converted to a markdown cell. So if I run this now, remember control enter to run, then that's going to render as text. Right, so that's a markdown cell and that's a code block. And that's in command mode. If uh, I type things here, nothing's going to happen. Whereas if I hit enter, then I'm in the uh, edit mode. And then if I hit control enter, then it's going to run it. So you do not want to be using the menus here, right? You, uh, to do real work in Python, you need to have a good workflow. That means you need to be uh, fully in control of all the uh, shortcuts that are available to you. Now, of course, uh, this doesn't look as well typeset as uh, the notebook that I have here. So here you can see um, uh, a much uh, better presentation of the uh, narrative and, and the formulation. And I've accomplished that by using uh, a bit of HTML. So let's look at the code behind this. And so remember now, we just uh, we are currently in the command mode. We are looking at the rendered version of this block. And if I hit enter, that's giving us the code. So if you are familiar with HTML, and you don't really need to be, right? You, you can just, um, this notebook is available at the link in the description. So you can just go ahead and copy this HTML if you like. Um, but uh, if you do know a bit of HTML, you can see we are creating these uh, divs and we are using uh, bootstrap classes. So Jupyter Notebook uh, does use uh, bootstrap it, or it makes bootstrap available to us. So we can use that kind of um, uh, cascading style sheet classes uh, or class and, um, and we can use uh, the normal style uh, code as well. So using that code block, and here I'm just going to copy paste that control C to copy and here control V to paste. Um, if I run this now, um, you can see it's a slightly different and uh, it doesn't look quite right because um, these blocks are um, I need to to separate uh, by an extra line here. So just beware of uh, some spacing issues. Uh, you saw earlier we needed a bit of a space between the, uh, the hash uh, and the text before that would work. And then if you are using HTML, um, you sometimes need to include an extra line before it recognizes that. So if we run that, we can see uh, um, that the text is formatted uh, somewhat differently now. And you can, uh, um, from this notebook, you can go ahead and play around with these styles. And uh, here's uh, how I created that, uh, uh, that blue background, right? I used a, a class. You can instead do it by uh, using a style if you know some uh, cascading style sheet style code. So that's how um, we can format these documents. All right, and in the next one, um, we are going to introduce this concept of, uh, of equations and look at how we can format our equations and uh, noting that we will be using the full math tech uh, library there. So there are many, many uh, options that are available. So if you know uh, even a bit of math tech, it becomes possible to create all these, um, uh, all the, the sorts of uh, equations that uh, we have, um, that we need to develop a, a reasonable arsenal of, uh, of mathematical expressions uh, for our systems. So in the next one, we are going to look at using MathTech to edit our equations. And if you are familiar with MathTech, that's almost like a superpower for 
creating all the uh, formulations and all the equations and all the variants and all the types of symbols that we need to really develop a comprehensive library of uh, well for creating our formulations.